Hi, uh, in this tutorial I will go over how to configure your Linux server to act as a TCP port uh, uh, forward, forwarder. Um, so basically we are going to uh, forward IPv4 to IPv6 using a tool called SOCAT. So as you see in this figure, um, we do have CT100 and we are going to use this server to act in as an IP forwarder. So basically what we are going to do, we are going to uninstall uh, the SOCAT tool here. And as you see also in this server, we do have IPv4. And we also, on the other side, uh, we have CT101. So basically, this is a CentOS 7 container, and we do have a couple of services running on this uh, uh, container, which is SSH uh, port 1101, and we also do have Apache running uh, Apache uh, web server running on port 7777. Uh, so. The, here on the left side, you do have end user. So the person is using his computer and is attempting to access the web server or the Apache uh, on port 7777. So basically, in order for the user to access the web server, his computer has to go through the so the jumper server or the IP forwarding server on C, uh, C, uh, T, on CT100 and then the CT100 will forward his request uh, to the container on, uh, on uh, hostname CT101. So how we are going to do that? We are going to install the SOCAT and we are just going to add a few commands using bash scripts uh, to let the end user uh, access the web server from the by using ipv4 address so this is the command line for our ct100 uh, server so as a root um, we are going to first install the SOCAT tool and uh, by running command I'm using here uh, CentOS 7 so yum uninstall SOCAT and this should uninstall the SOCAT for you if you want to test that the SOCAT is uninstalled run SOCAT uh, space dash help and here uh, we see the help so we can confirm that the SOCAT is installed. Now let's create a bash script uh, by writing down using a text editor. Uh, let me call this file socat.bash and here I will just write down the shebang for the bash. Um, so for the slash man. Uh, forward the slash dash space so here uh, we can um, uh, let's call the CT we can name here uh, CT uh, 101 uh, container uh, so and we do have open ports uh, 7777 and um, for uh, SSH is 1101 we can name it here say it SSH and we also do have 77 this is the Apache Uh, let's write down uh, socat commands. Uh, let's say uh, soc 
have space um we are going to write down tcp4 uh, ipv4 and then uh, dash uh, listen and then the port number this is the uh, port number ssh and then write down fork and t space tcp6 uh, ipv6 this is our uh, uh, host name uh, host name ct uh, dash 101 the container so the container is using ipv6 so this is uh, routing ipv4 uh, to ipv6 uh, the container ipv6 address uh, we are going to write this down here um, so it's uh, fd r34 fa56 so once you're done uh, so here are uh, we are going to write down the ports for SSH space and the and here is to run the command in the background while you are using your command prompt. So another one is like as you know in the CT in the container we also having our you know, web server running there so port 777 so let's make the socat uh, forward that port as well so socat uh, tcp so basically it's the same command tcp4 listen uh, the port number here and then um, forward this port number from ipv4 to ipv6 and Here, write down your port number again, space, and uh, to run in the background. And that should be it for um, a CT101 container. Uh, we do have uh, two services running uh, Apache and SSH. We added the socat command uh, to make these uh, to make IPv4 listen to IPv6, then IP forward these uh, two two services to the container and to run them in the background uh, that's basically it um, we are going to save the file so exit the file and save then once you are back to the command prompt um, give uh, change the permission to this file so uh, we are going to give the execution permission for the file so user plus execution space and the file name here and hit enter so at this point we are going to execute the past script uh, that we just created so cat dot bash hit enter and here you see um, it's already in use because my socat is, was already working hit enter and yes uh, the socat now is successfully working uh, now the um, our server should be uh, successfully uh, using uh, IPv4 to forward it to IPv6 for any requests uh, to the uh, services running on the C, uh, CT101 uh, uh, container. So here, um, as an end user, I open my browser and I want to access the Apache server or the web server uh, that is running on our container using IPv6. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to test the IP forwarding from our SOCAT uh, server and see if it's working properly so uh, as an end user from my browser i'll try to write down 
the IPv4 for our um, CT100 uh, server and see if it's working. HTTP. So it's 192.168.184.147. And also, we have the port, the custom port for the web server. It's 7777. And let's see if it's working. And here we go. Now, the it says here techno config web server test page. You have successfully arrived to the server via SOCAT IP forwarding. So that's exactly what we are we're looking for. So I wrote down, if you see here, the IPv4, not the IPv6, no, the IPv4 for our server with the custom port of our container. And what the, uh, what the SOCAT did is forwarded the the request to IPv4 uh, using SOCATs. So here we go. Also, I am going to test the SSH service um, as an end user uh, using my command prompt. Uh, I'm going to attempt to SSH to the container uh, by writing down SSH space uh, the username. I have user1 created on my container and the IPv4 uh, of uh, our SOCAT server 192.168.147. Sorry, 168.184.147 and space with P. And the P here is uh, basically. Uh, the protocol because we are not using the default uh, SSH protocol we are using the custom so 1101 and let's hit enter asking us for a password and it's successfully working so as you see here uh, I am successfully logged in uh, from as an end user to the container running SSH service and that by writing down the IPv4 of the socket or the jumper server. So we jumped from the IPv4 to, I, uh, to IPv6. So now everything is running uh, perfect and that should be it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and talk to you later.